Um, I think of this show, I think of Helix as kind of a mashup of uh, a few of my favorite things. Uh, a uh, great movie from the 60s I love, The Andromeda Strain, um, John Carpenter's The Thing, uh, what was that, early 80s, and, and, um, and uh, a bit of The Walking Dead, though we don't have zombies. We don't have zombies. We have infected, very, very sick people with uh, an insane compulsion to infect others. Well, of course, the, uh, Ron Moore's name, for one. Um, I was a huge, huge fan of uh, Battlestar Galactica. Loved it, and uh, still do. It was, uh, I think, the best writing on television when it was on television. It was, it's arguably the best writing since. And uh, so that was a huge draw for me. I love science fiction. I just thought the whole idea of the show was, uh, was super cool. And uh, I wanted to be in Canada. Um, I can't confirm or deny uh, that I am uh, that Alan Farragut's a dirty player, but uh, I will say he changes over the course of the story, um, and uh, and maybe all those changes aren't for the you know for the best, but we'll see. A bunch of fine actors, uh, fine Canadian actors, uh, one fine Japanese actor, um, <clears throat> and. Um, couldn't have been happier with the whole bunch. They're a really, really great bunch of people. Ron's a great guy, but uh, um, we haven't spent all that much time together. He's been, he's doing another show in Scotland, you know, uh, Outlander. Um, but yeah, I think we did just sort of miss like ships in the night, uh, kind of barely. Um, and I look forward to, uh, you know, to spending more time with him, getting to, to know him better. Well, there's, there's always a, you know, a smattering of uh, improvisation um, involved uh, because, you know, the creative process is not just over when the writer puts down the pen. Um, so there's, there's always a, a little bit of that, but uh, in terms of changing a character arc or anything like that, no, no, that's, the, that's not the prerogative of the, of the actor. This was mostly filmed in a sound stage, in sound stages uh, in Montreal. Uh, we did some location work uh, in a nearby uh, crazy, haunted, enormous chemical or pharmaceutical research company, abandoned pharmaceutical research company, and then some outdoor work as well. Um, but yeah, all the, you know, the whole base and everything is, uh, generally speaking, uh, at least the upper levels of it, um, uh, done on sound stages in Montreal. I think for us, uh, Helix was, uh, you know, it's meant to be a very tight, claustrophobic um, kind of thrilling story. And we shot, you know, in a very limited amount of space, so it began to feel kind of claustrophobic. Uh, fortunately, we all got along very well, um, but you could, you could imagine, you could well imagine, easily imagine how uh, terrifying and how claustrophobic something like that could be. If something else doesn't first, uh, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's quite possible. When the CDC arrived to take care of this viral outbreak, at this biological research facility. Um, they think that, you know, and they have every reason to believe that this is a, this is a virus, this is a bug that uh, uh, must fall within, you know, the sort of the, the parameters of things that they know or know of. And um, eh, fairly soon they, they realize that this is unlike anything they've ever seen and that it is uh, uh, potentially uh, life-changing for the entire human race.